Welcome to uh, DTV. I'm joined with uh, Kelly O'Donnell today. And Kelly, you've uh, moved into a new role at the club, uh, pro scouting, which is uh, something which is really starting to come into the AFL circles. Can you talk about your, your new role? Yeah, Matt, it's, um, it is a new role and it's um, there's a changing landscape in AFL footy, particularly with uh, two new sides being introduced to the competition and f uh, free agency and uh, those types of things uh, coming up in the next few years. So um, the role is uh, is uh, a recruiting role, and uh, but it's more of a mature age and AFL listed or uh, previous listed players um, and the scouting of those. And um, it was an opportunity that uh, was uh, raised at the club and uh, I asked to be considered for the role and uh, the rest... Uh, I've been lucky enough to be given the opportunity, which I'm really excited about. Um, it, there'll be new challenges, uh, it's, as, it, as I said, there'll be it's a new role, and it's um, so the structures in around it will con continue to evolve. But uh, very excited about the move. Yeah. It's effectively uh, analysing and, and overseeing AFL club lists and second tier competitions. Is that effectively how it works? Yeah, basically, and. Um, and fitting uh, uh, the needs of our list uh, and where we where we see the uh, the gaps in our list, um, and I'll be working with uh, uh, list manager Tim Harrington, but I'll I'll be across the board with the coaches and uh, the development of our list too, with Todd Viney and Mark Neild, just uh, on a pretty constant basis. Uh, looking at where footy's heading, where our list is heading and where our needs are required in the future. Where do you sort of see this uh, type of role ending up or going to? Well, it's a new role, so it could uh, it's going to evolve over the years. But um, uh, we, the club, uh, has been um, rec recruiting uh, young talent for the last few years. We see ourselves now in a position where the uh, the list is uh, in a in a good position um, to move forward. The maturity of those young players will uh, continue year by year, and uh, you know we put probably three or four years in the to the development of a young player. Um, we see that um, there might be two or three years in the recruitment of a of a a needs player. So we've got to do the homework and uh, keep an eye on what we where our list is at, as I said, and what we require to um, to get us right up the top into the top four, the top two, to have a realistic chance of um, challenging for our 13th Premiership. Personally for yourself, you're moving from coaching to recruiting in, in a way. You've been involved with coaching of some sort since 1989. Uh, what's that like for you, just uh, making that, that change? Uh, it's it's pretty exciting. Um, I'd uh, I'd been looking to uh, at options um, for probably eighteen months, um, and it's just the next phase of uh, my career. I'm um, I've been involved professionally with footy now, back in for uh, probably 14, 15 years through the under-18 competition in Fremantle and now Melbourne. So um, it's what I do for a living and I was, uh, the opportunity um, really excited me, it interests me and uh, and it evolved from there. So um, I'm, I'm really uh, th uh, real, like, appreciative uh, of the opportunity to, um, to take on this new role and um, and uh, the the faith that the clubs had in me to um, to uh, take it on, um, I'm looking forward to to uh, meeting the challenge. Yeah. It's almost the third coming for yourself. You've been a player here, you've been a coach, and now into recruiting. Do you sort of see it as the next phase in in some ways? Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, well, it is the next phase. Um, it's uh, I'm getting on, Matt. <laughs> I started playing here in '79, so uh, it's um, it's I'm, I've spanned five decades. When were you born, Matt? 
70s. 70s, okay. So I've never been around here as long as you've been on the earth. But no, I see it as as, uh, the next phase in my uh, career. Um, I'm a career football person and uh, uh, the opportunity was there. Um, I was very interested in in the position and uh, that's just the next phase in, uh, in my career. So... Um, hopefully I can make a, uh, a good fist of it. I got, uh, I'm working with really good people, talented people, and it's a, it's a new role that, that I'm hoping to, um, to contribute well to. You've seen a lot of change in, uh, I guess, times at Melbourne. What, what does the, the club mean to you? And just uh, it's obviously impacted a fair bit in your life. Yeah, well, it's been a major influence in my life. I, I can still remember uh, the first time I walked into the change rooms as a kid from a 17 year old kid from Kyabram and um, I can almost still smell the liniment and it was life changing that day and uh, it's been a constant in my life ever since so um, um, you know it's just a I can't thank the footy club enough for what it's done for me over the years and um, I'm just hoping to to contribute in the in the chase for the next silverware. All right, mate. Well, uh, best wishes. I'm sure you'll do a great job and uh, well done on the, uh, the new move into pro scouting. Thanks very much, Matt.